Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, as you can see, oh my God, after almost five months, if not five months, um, I'm finally back in my art classroom. Uh, it was a very long break and then a beautiful summer, but uh, it's nice to be back. Uh, so going through my art, old art supplies, my old lesson plans. So uh, a big shout out to all the teachers that are going back and uh, everybody work really hard, stay safe, make this work. Um, our students are going to appreciate it because I know uh, as much as staying home is fun, uh, they need to be back in school, getting their education and having fun with you guys. This next uh, assignment was to create a uh, character. Uh, this could be an animal. In this case, it's uh, a boy. Uh, but this one is straight on and running towards you, uh, which is a little bit more complicated, but not so much. And it's not a stick man this time, it's a uh, full body uh, with clothes, uh, so uh, it's a little bit more challenging than just the stick man. Uh, so look closely at my instructions. Uh, so, but uh, this particular one, uh, for a shout out to my uh, uh, Facebook groups that love to have diversity in their drawings. Um, the character that I had, uh, I actually meshed three different people uh, together in one running pose. Uh, you'll see uh, later on in the video my full animation. Uh, so we have to keep in mind of our drawings uh, should be as diverse as possible to reflect how diverse our classrooms are. Uh, so really enjoy this and uh, come to my desk and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. So here are my five drawings. I figured it takes about five drawings to have a proper motion uh, for the little boy to run. So I have this little character right here. I made sure that they have the same clothing, uh, which looks a little bit less bumpy uh, when you're animating, uh, but they have different facial features, uh, different uh, ethnicities, different uh, skin tones. So as you can see in the first one, you have uh, the what left leg just about to go down. Uh, his uh, foot is sticking up. His arm, um, uh, one arm's up, one arm's down, shoulders up. And then the second one, shoulders a uh, little bit higher. Uh, the elbow is a little bit up in the air. And you have the knee uh, uh, sticking out and the foot is down. So in the animation, it really looks pretty cool. Uh, that you have the foot go down and then uh, it's going up. As you can see, their heads are a slightly different level because when you're running, obviously, you, uh, your head doesn't stay at the same height. So you gotta make your uh, person a little bit longer uh, when the extension of the legs happen. And then his right foot sticking up and then his right foot going down and the other knee is going up and as you could see the uh, arm movement as well. Uh, so once you uh, put all these together uh, it looks like the person is running. So what I did in terms of photography I uh, set up my tripod I stuck my uh, pictures to the board made everything level uh, and took pictures of each individual drawing. And then after that in iMovie I just linked them all together, um, changed the speed uh, of the person to 0.1 second and, um, and it looks like it's animated. So really have fun with that and uh, pop your comments down, subscribe, and I really hope you enjoy this. So thanks a lot guys, stay safe, uh, and keep creating.